Hey there. So as you may know, I've been working on this project, creating a series of 12 playlists, one for each of the zodiac signs in Western astrology. I've gotten pretty obsessed as I've been using this project to meditate on the meaning and medicine of each sign as we pass through the seasons. The playlists are pretty long, each between four to eight hours, and they can be listened to either on shuffle play or straight through from beginning to end for a more intentional curated journey through the themes and contradictions of each sign. Each playlist is filled with songs by artists who are native to that sign. But of course the sun sign, which is the one of yours that you probably know even if you're not that into astrology, it's just one part of the birth chart. And popular astrology often reduces the whole practice to just looking at sun signs, which can make astrology simplistic and problematic. It's important to remember that all of us are complex human beings and that we all embody the themes and contradictions of the whole zodiac. Indeed, the zodiac can only be really understood as a whole, as a reflection of the entire human psyche and condition. So the driving force for me in choosing the songs for these playlists was not just the birthdays of the artists, although that did factor in, but rather the spirit and messages of the songs in relation to the signs of the zodiac. In this way, I've done my best to honor the complexity of both the artists and the symbols. I'll be creating these accompanying videos for each playlist, so you can check out the Cancer video from last month and stay tuned for Virgo next month. The full videos and write-ups are available to patrons and shorter forms are going out on social media. Thank you, as always, to my patrons for sustaining the work I'm doing, not only with my band, Adam Gottlieb and One Love, but also stuff like this. And if you are not yet a patron and you would like to support my work of producing inspiring content that integrates music, poetry, spirituality, and revolutionary vision for a world beyond capitalism and oppression, I hope you will consider becoming a patron <laughs> while we're still under capitalism. And you'll also gain instant access to way more content than you'll ever know what to do with. <laughs> anyway, I hope both these playlists and these videos I'm making help you to appreciate the richness of the Zodiac in ways that serve your personal evolution and spiritual growth. I'm having a lot of fun with this, and I'd love to hear your reactions, ideas, and suggestions for these playlists. So leave me a comment with any feedback or thoughts you may have, and thank you as always for watching, following, and supporting. Now let's get into Leo. As July turns into August, the sun assumes its throne and reigns over the hottest time of year, inspiring awe and fear and praise from human beings since time immemorial. The sun is the center of our solar system, hence the term, and clearly deserves its central place in many ancient and surviving spiritual systems of prayer, sacrifice, and worship. Exposure to sunlight stimulates the brain's release of serotonin, making us naturally feel happy and calm. And yet, even as we are drawn to gaze into its beauty, we cannot look directly into the sun without hurting our eyes. So the sun's power, while life-giving, is also dangerous. Too much light and heat can burn the skin, dehydrate the body, produce droughts and fires, and make the land inhospitable. In the age of global warming, when our extractive economies have led to profound and possibly irreversible disruptions in the delicate balance of our biosphere, it is immensely urgent and painful to deeply consider and honor the power of the sun. Ultimately, the sun symbolizes power itself, life itself, divinity itself. It reflects to us an image of our own life force energy, pure being, which we can imagine as the inner spiritual form within all individual living things. We can relate to the sun's fire as a reflection of the divine spark of life within ourselves, often imagined as seated in the heart. And in this way, 
we can perceive that in a poetic sense, everybody is a star. <laughs> this finally brings us to the symbolism of Leo the lion. If Cancer the crab teaches us how to establish individual sovereignty by learning how to set healthy boundaries that support our living, Leo then teaches us how to turn our true selves to face outward into the world, shine our light, and become natural leaders simply by unleashing our inner essence and talents. Having established itself as sovereign within its own body, home, and internal world, consciousness seeks to expand its power to create an impact on the world around it. Through courage and sacrifice, we are all capable of and destined for something greater than we can imagine. Many of the major religions of the world have been built around these themes and so have countless remarkable works of art and fiction. Think The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, The Matrix, etc. And, like many children of the 90s, one of the first movies I can clearly remember having a profound spiritual impact on me was The Lion King. With all of its countless problems, we're talking about a Disney film here after all, who can deny the kernels of wisdom we received as kids about ancestors, courage, sacrifice, and the ultimate unity and reciprocity of nature through its rhythms of birth, growth, death, and life feeding upon life? And who cannot relate to Simba, who has to struggle to accept that he indeed has a unique position in the world? with a certain authority and responsibility of his own, which he must face in order to put to rest the karma that has brought him into a place of exile. <sighs> if you are feeling ready for Leo season, you have probably done the hard work demanded by cancer season. And now it's time to tap into your natural strengths, your power, your light. If you are a Leo, you already know that this is your time to be your most special self. <laughs> Those of us with significant Leo placements can be naturally playful, magnetic, benevolent, and powerful. We make excellent and incorrigible artists, and we often find ourselves in leadership roles without even being aware that we are taking up this kind of space. We are more comfortable being in the spotlight than most, or perhaps we fear it because we fear our own power. In the struggle for the world to come beyond capitalism, prisons, police, and borders, we need bold and courageous leaders who know how to wield those Leonine qualities with grace and balance. Leo shares an axis with Aquarius, its opposite sign, which teaches us that authentic leadership is ultimately an exercise of humility and service. Aquarius being the water bearer. Charisma and strength are important, but can only be as effective as they are founded upon integrity and honor, which require sincere openness to feedback and willingness to change. In whatever role, field of work, or front of struggle they find themselves, those who have learned how to lead by following have an important role to play in uniting all who can be united around a vision of what life truly is and should be. Pride, as Stephen Forrest writes, may prevent Leo from simply asking for love. He must learn to share the vulnerability he knows so well, to ask for support. This playlist is a no-holds-barred, feel-good selection for high summer vibes and unconditional self-love, but it is also more than that. Listened to all the way through from beginning to end, it is a curated, guided journey through the cultivation of healthy ego with the ultimate goal of offering up our lives to a power yet greater than ourselves. Listened to on Shuffle Play, it is a good Summer Vibes playlist for experiencing abundance, love, courage, and power. <laughs> 